this is how we connect the forward reverse control circuit we start with tapping power from this three phase mcb here and connect this power to this single pole mcb which switches on and switches off the control circuit we connect this cable to the output of this single pole mcb here and then connect the cable to the terminal 95 of the overload relay here and then we connect this cable to terminal 96 of the overload relay now we come to the stop push button the red one here you can see stop push button we connect the cable to the input of this stop push button here After connecting these two cables to the output of the stop push button, one of the cable will go to the input of the forward push button and the other will go to the input of the reverse push button. Let's first start with connecting the forward circuit. So this will come to the input of the forward push button, which is number three. And we connect it together with this other cable like this. We connect the two cables there to the input of the forward push button like this. You can see this one is for the hold on and it will go to terminal 13 of the forward conductor here. We have connected the cable to terminal 13 to terminal 14 of the forward conductor. We are connecting this cable and then connect it to A1. You can see a one here. We are connecting it here to a one. This is the forward push button. We are going to connect this cable to the output. So, our output from the forward push button here, we are going to take it to terminal 61 of the reverse conductor and then connect this cable to terminal 62 of the reverse conductor remember 61 and 62 is a normally closed conduct and we are introducing an electrical interlock so that the two conductors can never be energized at the same time we connect this cable to a1 together with the cable which was coming from 14 you can see the cable coming from terminal 14 which is the hold on together with the cable from terminal 62 of the reverse conductor we connect them to terminal a1 here now we have connected the forward circuit for the reverse circuit here is the reverse push button this is the stop push button we connected two cables and the first cable we took it to the input of the forward push button the other cable now we are going to take it to the input of the reverse push button here you can see from here which is the stop push button this we are going to pass it there and take it to the number three which is the input of the reverse push button here three and before we connect it we should connect it together with this cable we connect the input there This cable is for hold on, so we take it to 13 of the reverse push button here. Here we are going to pass it to 13. After connecting the cable to 13, we connect this cable to 14, terminal 14 of the reverse conductor. And connect it to A1 of the reverse conductor. Here is the A1 of the reverse conductor. We are going to connect this cable at the output of the reverse push button, which is number four. We have connected this cable to the output of the reverse push button. You can see the connection now for the reverse push button. Before we energize the reverse conductor, we are going to take the power to terminal 61 of the forward conductor 
Here we are trying to create an electrical interlock so that the forward conductor can never be energized at the same time with the reverse conductor. So we connect this to 62 and now connect it to A1 of the reverse conductor. Like that. I have joined these two cables here. This is our neutral. Let's connect it to A2 of our reverse conductor. Finally, we connect it to the A2 of the forward conductor here. And then, this is where our neutral from the power supply should be connected. Let's test and see. Connecting adapter to A1. And then the neutral of the adapter, we connect it to the neutral from the A2s of the conductors like this. And we connect it to power. And now try to energize the forward conductor. You can see the forward conductor is energized. If we try to engage the reverse conductor, when the forward conductor is energized, you can see it cannot be energized at the same time. We need first to stop. We have now de-energized the forward conductor. Then now we can energize the reverse conductor. You can see the reverse conductor is now energized. If we try to engage the forward conductor when the reverse conductor is energized, you will find that it cannot be energized. So we have to stop first and So basically this is how we connect for the reverse control circuit.